Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. And today we're going to take a look at hit counters, or more specifically, we're going to see how many times based on nightly recalculations, each of my listings have been viewed from a variety of different sources. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same, and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. All right, so let's begin by first accessing the My Listing section. And from here, I'm going to select My Hit Counters from the drop-down list. So in this first column, we see the total number of client portals hit for each of these listings. Or in other words, this figure represents the total number of One Home portals that this listing has reached either by an agent sending it directly to their customer or by having it sent through an auto email. Next, we see the total number of client views. And what this means is the total number of times your listing has been viewed in the full display by clients within their one home portal. For example, if the same customer opens your listing and views it 10 separate times, then the number in this column will increase by 10. And out of all of the customers who have received this listing, the next column represents how many of them have actually added it as a favorite. All right, so in the auto email column, we see the total number of auto emails that exist in the system for which this listing meets the search criteria. In other words, when an agent creates an auto email for their customer and your listing is initially included in the results, this total represents how many auto emails your listing actually falls into. Next, we see the previous 14 day views, and this is the total number of unique customer views during that time period. So even though the same customer may have looked at your listing 10 separate times during these 14 days, it will only register as one unique view under this column, giving listing agents a much more accurate idea of how many unique customers were actually interested in their property. Now, as you know, buying agents who have chosen to enable concierge on their clients' auto emails can also review each of those listings before being sent. In the following two columns, we see how many times this listing was approved and sent from a concierge auto email, as well as how many times it was rejected by the agent. Now, under Agent IDX, we see how many times this listing was viewed from an IDX-enabled website. In other words, the Agent IDX total will increase by one anytime a visitor views this listing from a website where the agent included the matrix IDX. And finally, the agent views column represents the total number of agent full display views from within matrix. And these views are not unique. So assuming the same agent looks at this listing 10 separate times, then the total increases by 10 as well. Also, matrix does not show the actual names of the agent who have viewed this property but rather lets a buying agent decide for themselves if they'd like to contact the listing agent for additional information. Now, if you notice, some of the totals also include a link allowing the listing agent to see a breakdown of exactly when these viewings occurred, essentially giving them an additional tool to help measure the success or failure of a recent marketing strategy. These graphs can then be individually printed or shared directly with clients. All right, so on a final note, if you ever notice that any of these totals on this page have actually gone down instead of up, this is likely because the buying agent has recently deleted a client who has sent that listing. In this case, all of the views associated with that contact will disappear from the listing as well. All right, well, this concludes this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care. <music>